Hi guys, so I um, wanted to do a really quick video today just to set the tone. Um, I'm looking at these airless um, 6 inch wheels, I think they're 6 inch actually, haven't checked, I'll put it in the description. Um, they're, they're done by a company called Ownboard, who are a reputable Chinese brand that do belt driven motors. Um, um, a lot of people told me that they wouldn't work with the Evolve um, Carbon GT or the GTRs and um, we're going to just give it a test really to see can we get it working. Um, so we're going to spend a few minutes just trying to get these attached to my Carbon GT um, just because I need to take it apart anyway. And so it might be a really quick video, um, just please stay till the end and then we'll see how we go. Um, I won't be doing a review of them, um, I only have one wheel to test so if you're looking for an unboxing, a review, that sort of thing, uh, this is not the right video. Uh, you can subscribe and to be a review um, of these wheels on either the own board or the Evolve um, in the very near future. But for the moment this is purely just can we get this working on an Evolve board. Um, let's begin. And uh, I'm going to be trying these own board wheels. Um, now I can tell they won't fit on this board but I want to give it a try <coughs> um, as I think I'm sure that we can play around with the gearing and get things working so really today's objective is to see if I can get these wheels on this board um, I'm going to start just by <coughs> obviously getting the wheels off uh, I'm only going to try it with one just to see if it works uh, bits, really. so uh, I need to apologise in advance for the C19 special this is my son's cut my hair during the lockdown and um, yeah let's give it a go Alright, so I've got the one wheel off. Now we're going to see if we can put the gear on first of all. The gear here we have is for the own board. I've been told this bit won't fit on here. Pretty correct. Oh, it does fit on there. That's what they're talking about, it does fit. Is it really going to be this easy? Let's check it out. Oh, look at that. I haven't even had to adjust the... Um, Alright, so for the purpose of this, I'm going to be able to prove, I think, hopefully, this does work. That that's secure, the gear is on secure. The, I can move this mount out a bit more, actually let's do it anyway. Right, so I've worked out the gears do work, for sure. However, the belts are a little bit uh, loose, um, i.e. the motor doesn't come back far enough. So let's try, use the belt from from here, see if it makes a difference, it's a bit smaller, I don't know if this is going to work but we're going to try it, use this belt, which I think is bigger, this might not work, no, that belt's not going to work, unfortunately, 66T belt, 66 teeth belt that you get with the Evolve will not work, unfortunately, um, this one kind of does work, I think we could See how loose it is. Oh, that is tight. That's way tight. Yeah, I've made it tight. Good. So, okay, so I think we're going to work. Right, let's put the wheel on. Oh, is this the bit that's the problem? I shouldn't do. Oh, it looks like we're going to have bingo with now. Washer on. Who said it wouldn't work? bearing. The, the, the different to the Evolve, um, on the Evolve boards we have a bearing here, a drive gear bearing, but on the own board they have one here and one here, so the inside and the outside. Um, so it makes it a bit more secure and it actually feels, feels like a decent material actually. And I like these airless wheels that they come, they uh, feel very good, they feel like they've got a bit of, a bit of dampening in them. 
let's try this. Right, that's on. It's gone back. It's gone back further down the thread, which is what I was concerned about a minute ago. And the actual spokes using gears are a bit weird. Compared to the evolved ones that kind of wedge in on these ones, they actually kind of, it looks like they actually hook onto the hook onto the spokes. A bit of a weird design, is that a good thing? I don't know actually. So let's just see if that works when we hook it onto a spoke. I don't like that design at all. So let's just see if that is the way. Oh, I really don't like that. Right, so I made a bit of an error here. Uh, what I've realised is these, the gears, these little slants here on the gears, if you can see them, it's not a bad design. It actually feels like a nice, it was like a fiberglass or something. I don't know what it feels like. It feels different to the, um, the hard plastic on the, uh, on the Evolve one. But uh, what I've realised is these things, little slips, do actually slide into the spokes. Um, but it doesn't work on every bit. You have to find the bit that it hooks onto. I just found it a second ago, annoyingly. Can't show you that. That's it, it's locked in. So it does actually, it is actually secure. So that was something that I was a bit worried about a minute ago, but it seems to be all good. So yeah, um, onboard wheels, onboard AT wheels, airless, will work on an Evolve. Um, that's probably that's a carbon GT, GTR. Um, I don't know about the older models, but um, yeah, that's a good uh, good little upgrade choice. I don't know how much these wheels are, um, as I got let, I got borrowed them by um, lent them by Miles. Um, but yeah, good. That's a result. So final thoughts are um, pleasantly surprised really that we were able to get this working. Um, I had my doubts, obviously, so with most people, if everybody says no, uh, we've got it working. Unfortunately, we weren't able to give it a test, but I don't think that's the end of the world. We can do that. We've attached the motor nicely, the belt was tight enough, um, we had a secure fit, there was no loose um, looseness between the kind of gears and the wheels, which is what I was having a problem with earlier. Um, so all I would say is if, if you've got a friend that's buying a motor board, um, and they only want to get the GT version, which is like the streets, it's that comes on the foamies, um, then just persuade them to pay the $100 extra and go for the two-in-one and give them the $100 and, what is that, 80 quid or something, and you've got yourself four AT wheels, albeit airless, um, and some gears um, you know, to, to have some fun with, really, because they, they feel pretty good. Um, obviously, I haven't tested them yet, but they seem like they would be relatively good, even on some even on kind of shortcut short grass, should I say. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. As I said, this wasn't meant to be a test or review of the wheels. Um, that will be something we'll be doing shortly. Um, and if you've got any thoughts on this video, anything that you think I could have done differently or anything maybe I've made a mistake on, uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, so yeah, please subscribe, um, like, share, all of that sort of stuff. And um, until the next one.